Have you ever voted before? No. No? You plan on voting this year? Yeah. Yeah? You know what you're voting for this year? No. You know what election's coming up in November? Huh? You, do you know what election's coming up in November? Nope. Can anybody identify this gentleman on this piece of paper? Anybody? That is, that is the mayor. What's his name? I know it. Some stupid uh, congressman that I don't really like. I think it's our mayor. So John Bader is. Did I? <laughs> I mean, it's on no. the Oh my god. Wait, that's Obama? No, that's not Obama. Uh, joke. Yeah, next best thing though. Oh, we kind of look alike. So this person is the third most popular person in the United States of America. Alright, alright, fuck I am. Now, now, now. Honestly, I don't know anything about politics. I am filmmaker Mike Riley, and I am the associate producer and writer of the future documentary, The USA, The Uninformed States of America. This is where the idea for this documentary kind of came about. I'm from Southern California. I grew up here my whole life. My heart and soul is in LA. When word got out that we were gonna put a new mayor in, I got excited. There were so many issues that affected so many people in this city that a lot of people complain about. Raising city taxes, the measures to decrease or increase the number of marijuana dispensaries in the city. We are the second largest city in the United States. I mean, this is a global city. We have economic, and cultural influence all across the world. On March 5th, only 16% of eligible voters in the city of Los Angeles voted. The numbers were so low for that particular election between Eric Garcetti and Wendy Gruel, who were the two candidates who received the majority of the votes, had to have a runoff election. I think there's definitely signs of apathy in terms of voter participation. I think what's happened in our elections in this city and maybe other cities mm -hmm. is that we're getting the end product of what elections have done. Although every elected official will tell you I want everybody to vote, I want everybody to register. In reality, if you look at their campaign, their campaign suppressed the vote. It's so hard for me to, to put faith in a system that's just so already diseased. After doing my research, I've realized that this is not just a LA problem. This is a problem all across this nation. You see these places that you know, have a revolution and they get democracy and then they, you, know, you get very high voter turnout, right? Because they're going, wow, this is this real chance for me. There's, if I do something, I can really affect some kind of change. I think Americans have lost that sense. You know what you need? You need a new party, man. You know, we've always had a two party system. Sometimes it becomes more about the win than about actually enacting change. Money is important because we're a mass society. Politicians have to reach masses of voters and there's no way to do that other than mass media. Mass media is very expensive. I know elected officials, even on our side, that have to spend their entire time raising money for the next election. Why is it that civic education is not stressed more in this country? When y'all go to school, they don't teach you that in school? The school system is completely messed up and completely broken. And we have a society that says being smart isn't cool. I was in AP government, AP US history, all those, I guess, quote, advanced classes. Um, never once was I shown a, vo a voter registration form. So, so far with the film effort, we've been able to engage a lot of Los Angeles and the surrounding areas. We've talked to a lot of the local politicians, a lot of the local government, and we've asked them these questions concerning voter apathy. This includes political science professors, uh, different academics, different political groups and organizations, as well as your average citizen. And we've managed to do a lot of our filming here. This is where your help and your contribution is going to come in because we need to take this thing out of Los Angeles and get to the entire nation. We want to go to as many districts, as many cities, as many towns as we can possibly hit. We want to go to Chicago, New York, Philadelphia, Miami, Phoenix, small rural communities as well as large ones. And most importantly, we want to be able to make sure we get to Washington DC before the midterm elections take place. We can really use your help. Thank you.